we are now at the wise men story in scripture where the three wise men or maybe many more came to see Jesus and beheld him as a great king and offered him gold, frankincense, and myrrh, spices, and treasures fit for a king, but also fit for those that prepared themselves for burial. What do we have to give to Jesus? We do not see him in person. We have what is around us, in front of us, before us, And maybe even more importantly, ourselves, which is what Jesus calls us to give, is our lives, our hopes, and our dreams. And maybe this year, you find yourself struggling with resolutions being just ludicrous after a year we had last year. But maybe looking towards finding your word for this year, a word that might be helpful to give focus to your year with Jesus. In the information, I will post the link to a star word generator and I'll give you mine. And this was an interesting one for me this year. And we'll see how it comes about in play. But the word that was given to me is unlearn. (sighs) What am I supposed to unlearn this year? I look forward to your word. And I hope that you will find a place to put it. I know my words in the past several years have been something that I have gone back, I've forgotten about throughout the year. I have posted it somewhere, I have put it somewhere, and I have remembered it again. And I hope that you will see this word for you this year. Write it somewhere, type it in different places, come upon it throughout the year to remind yourself of the gift that God who was and is and is to come, and how you can be a gift always. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for your gift of words and wisdom and courage, like the wisdom and courage of the wise people, the magi, that found a different way so that the king of the land couldn't harm the new baby king the christ king give us wisdom and courage to fight against injustices give us wisdom and courage to be peace and kindness and help us to find your grace and mercy amen